America can stand back right now and watch as my own people attack some of our traditional people for believing in our own Lakota way of life. The media often portrays us as like these sad, like poverty stricken people. You know, there isn't that that focus on who we are today. We live on the poorest county in America. It's poverty stricken. But just because we live in poverty don't mean we're poor. Do you feel American? Nah. <laughs> I've always been taught we were Indian. We were Lakota first before we were anything else, before we were Christian, before we were American. Okay, so I've just woke up in the Rosebud Reservation here in South Dakota. I'm on a beautiful ranch um, with lots of chickens and horses. I'm going to be spending a few days here um, sleeping in people's houses and in the Pine Ridge Reservation about two hours from here. I want to find out what it's like to live here, but also how younger people can envisage their future and how they feel about modern day America as a Native American. hard because all the drugs and alcohol. So it's a very hard place to grow up in a lot of ways. The majority of people that are working on the res, you know, you either work at the tribal office or IHS. Not much to do around here and when you do find something to do you usually have to travel 20 miles or so longer. There's a lot of suicides and that kind of stuff. People, people lose hope I and mean, they feel Oh, maybe you're oppressed. We've all fallen as teenagers around here. and We've all experimented with alcohol and things. It's really, it's really sad to have alcohol here. thing about these kids here is they're the survivors and they're fighters and a lot of them are wanting change. They want something different, they want something better than our adults are leaving them. We actually don't believe in the word Native American because Native American it also has the word American in it. They took everything from us. America is built on stolen lands. America is a stolen country. We used to live with everything. You know, and now we're on these little reservations and we're all clumped together and we shouldn't be like that. Like non-native see us as um, these historic people with the uh, woolen cloth and headdress. Because you see the Washington Redskins, you see the Cleveland Indians, you see all of that and it's a big joke and you hear everybody knows the, the phrase drunken Indian. They live in this really rough situation, you know, and it's very real, but that there's hope and that our culture is alive still. I think it's important for us to have, for our young people to have role models and to see other people going out and doing big things and coming back to the reservation and showing them that there's other things that out there and this is what we're doing and you can do this too, you know. There's high rates of suicide and alcoholism on any reservation, but that's because of the lack of ability to express oneself. Hi, we are Scattered Around. I'm Scotty Clifford. And I'm Juliana Brownies. We recently just acquired a record deal out in Los Angeles, so that'll be fun. As much as we can do, and just to show children here at home that we really need to get away from the poor, pitiful, pissed off Indian. All that matters now is what we do for ourselves. I'm going to need you to do something, Ms. I'm going to need you to trust me. This film is an opportunity to give you know, our youth, our Native youth, kind of uh, these, these heroes and heroines to look up to, you know? 
Um, I think that that's something that I wanted when I was growing up was to see someone like myself. You don't see a lot of Native characters uh, kind of leading in in, uh, in mainstream movies. You know, in big blockbuster movies, it's always uh, uh, usually it's you know a predominantly white cast. I want to see our people um, thrive and not get caught up in what outsiders think we are and stereotype us as, but rise up and show the world what we can do.